Uh, so I promised a putting video, and this is really, really, really critical um, to explain the difference of how a putter works, okay? So, seen tons of things, nobody really explains it. Uh, probably the way I'm going to is, uh, it's either swung, and you have this part right here is, almost feels like it's anchored, right? And it swings back and forth. Or you have a shaft that pushes. Now, I don't really care, uh, I can obviously put equal uh, with either style, which one you like, but you can't mix them. This is the problem that I see. So when people swing a putter first, and I'll show you from, the, I have the putting mat behind me as you see. All right, but first is we're gonna get into detail a little bit about how the joints work. So just as in a golf swing, your wrist joint, if you're going to release it, will move just like tossing a ball. And if you'll notice, you'll see the grip in. Now it'll counterbalance, it doesn't stay perfectly still because we're not locking it. If you actually could do this, this would be illegal and, and easy, right? So that would be the purest way of uh, how you're swinging and throwing and all that. Now, when you put two hands on, you got one joint moving, so that's why this is the easiest thing. But when you put two hands on it, now you have this joint work. So you will have more, you'll have more speed, right? So you have to be careful because it'd be like throwing a ball, but also having a little bit of an accelerator. That's why people you'll see will do the claw because now that joint doesn't work or move that way. Or you'll see if you even maybe put it under underhand here to kind of lock this joint in, but you'll still see that you have some movement here. Right, so what I see when I give putting lessons is I see people take the putter back as they're gonna push it through, but what they do is they take it back and then they swing it and release it. So if you're gonna be a releaser, you've gotta do it both ways. You can't release and then push, right? There's some people that do that, but that's extremely difficult to do. So you see, I released this joint, but then pushed. So you either push it or swing it, okay? Same thing in the golf swing, and that's the reason why, again, hit the ball further is because you swing a club, not push it. But because the putter doesn't take that much, you can literally just push it. But, so if you're gonna push it, you need to make sure this joint and this joint is not able to do this. Simple, so turn them. When you turn them, you'll lock this joint, this joint, etc. Now from this, now you'll have a push stroke. So you'll see that when I turn it, turn it, you'll see that now, doesn't mean you still can't release it with major pressure, but you should be able to make kind of a rock the baby kind of motion, right? So, and I haven't made even one putt this way. So you'll see the stroke, how my arms kind of stay the same width, right? I didn't change anything. The angle just rocked. Right now, you do not move your shoulders. Understand this. These people are dead wrong when they say this. You do not move your shoulder joint to move the golf club. It is all 100% your arms. When you lock this joint and this, then your arms is the only thing that moves. Now, you'd be like, no, Roger, the shoulder moves. Okay, this is what the shoulder does, dude. Right? So if you say, take, if your golf pro or whatever tells you, take your shoulder and move it, you're really not. You're moving maybe your entire spine, and that's why you get a rocking motion, but I'm not moving my shoulder. It, I promise you, it's my quadratus laborums on both sides here, lengthening and shortening, lengthening and shortening, lengthening and shortening. Has nothing to do with up here. This is, always a, this is always a secondary mover on anything and everything. I move my arm, I look, the shoulder moved, right? I move my shoulder, the arm doesn't move. So, if you're gonna lock it in, then just move your arms, like so. If not, then make sure this wrist joint's correct, and then you'll see it go like this, okay? So then you'll see the putter go like this as it releases. So now, just like tossing a ball, you'll see how, and I'm gonna do it with just the one joint, you'll see how I roll it end over end, like so. Now I made both of them. So obviously it doesn't matter if you mix this way or if you do this way, all right? I hope that helps. Uh, come see me out at uh, Country Hills for golf lesson, and I look forward to working with you guys and helping you guys with your golf swing.